again. Welcome everyone to Leadership Soundbites with Michelle and Rocco. This is actually the first ever episode of this. And uh, so what we want to do and what we thought about is we want to be able to engage people in different aspects of leadership development, but nothing that's going to take you hours and hours to listen to. So it's just like different subjects, what's on our mind, um, little nuggets, chunks, if you will, which is where the soundbite came from. The first series that we want to start talking about when we were brainstorming this was the power of. So we're going to pick different topics. Um, we'll talk about what's on our mind and hopefully you've got some stuff that comes to your mind as we're talking about it too. Um, so why the two of us? Well, um, I've had a passion for leadership development, executive coaching, leadership coaching um, for shoot. It's probably been 10 years now. Uh, and it's around also developing capability around problem solving thinking. And I've had the pleasure of working with Rocco on a number of occasions. So I'm super excited that we can do this again. So Rocco, tell some people a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, it's not much different than you, although my perspectives sometimes are different than you. Um, I, I too am very passionate. I think of myself as a simple suburban, um, now remote coach, um, helping people and organizations solve problems and uh, achieving their true potential. And Roko and I, Roko and I tend to, people have described it, um, and I'm sure you can relate to it at times. We violently agree at times. <laughs> and so <laughs> people, people misunderstand it to be something else. Um, so the first thing that we decided on, right, Roko, is intentionality, right? Yes. And so yeah. if you think about that, there's what we started with, there's some qu different quotes. Mm -hmm. um, one of them that stood out for me, and I know, Roko, you've got some on your mind, is you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction. So the intentionality around changing your direction, and for me, it also links with a mentor of mine, Margie Hagany, of ours, right? I'm not going to lay claim to her on my own, um, that she said it's a little bit better look like. So while we may have to go on a completely different, different destination, different goal, if you will, it doesn't mean that we get off the road or we've got to radically do something different. We just have to change our direction. Yeah. So what's on your mind about attention, intention? Yeah. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read it. Um, <laughs> one of the ones that I really liked is um, you won't change your life until you change the, the things that you do every day. And again, it's about that intentionality. And when we're being intentional about something, we're typically trying to change something for the better. And when you're changing things, it requires new habits and habits aren't formed overnight. They take the rigor of going over things over and over and over and over again before um, you, you just have to, uh, they, they, they become unconsciously thinking about them. I always think of the karate kid, you know, wax on, wax off. And he just did it over and over and over again until the fight came. And then his hands just automatically went uh, to where they needed to be. Um, did you guys catch that, that really quick movement that she that did? Really quick now? movement. Oh. <laughs> so so the, here's the thing, when you were describing all that stuff, part of me went to, holy cow, that's a lot of stuff to think about. And I almost got a little bit kind of wound up like, like it's a lot. And I think part of what has helped me is, is when I think about intentionality is there's gotta be some goal in mind, right? Some direction, some goal that I've got going. But the other part of it is I may have a lot of opportunity or things that I need to do differently. I can't do them all at once. What's the and one so, thing? yeah. So for me around intentionality is the intentionality around I'm on a continuous improvement journey, personal growth, whatever it is, but I'm not going to fix all this stuff at one time. And so I need to be intentional around where I'm going and then what I'm working on right now, because otherwise I think I just, I, people may tend to throw the towel in and go, I can't do it all. Yeah. And so what's coming to mind is the other quote that we talked about earlier, right? Is that um, when your intentions are clear, so is the way. So what is the one thing that you want to be intentional about? 
and what might you do to be intentional about that thing? So so, our podcast. Yes, our podcast podcast is a perfect example. So we started talking about, I think you brought it up first. Hey, I want to be able to do this. I want to do it. And I'm like, oh yeah, it'd be good. And I don't know how many people out there go, oh, we've done that too. We've done, oh my God, what a great idea. We do it when we're going to go on trips. We're going to do something different. We're going to explore whatever. You're going to build a shed in the backyard. You're going to do pavers on your front patio, whatever it is. Yeah. But if, if we hadn't been intentional and, and we tend to hand off the baton about what the next step is, mm-hmm. it would have stayed in this. God, that'd be dream a great state <laughs> in the yeah. dream state yes. <laughs> out there. So I think for us, the intentionality, when I think back on it, we set a date, we set a date to practice, figure out what it looked like. We set another date to actually start doing it. Um, And so when I think about intentionality, this wasn't blow it up and start over. This was about drawing a line in the sand or at least saying, here's the next step of what we're going to do. And we don't have to have the rest of it figured out. Yeah. And I think that circles back nicely to what you said in the very beginning from Margie Margie Hagany, right? Is what's a little bit better look like? We took a baby step. We hit that baby step and then we took another baby step. And I, I think that that helps keep you moving in the right direction um, so that it's not this big audacious thing and it's so overwhelming and how can you even, ever get started, right? I loved it because when we get together, you know, our minds are always going back and forth. And you just said, okay, let's set a date. We've talked enough about it. Let's set a date to get started. And, and that was that was the moment. So we're gonna leave you with, right? What's a little bit better look like? A little bit better Be look. intentional about what it is you wanna do. And if you've got a lot of things that you wanna do, pick one, but be intentional about what that looks like. Mm-hmm. And just change direction. You don't have to, to, in order to change your destination. Yeah. Any last things? No, just get started. Okay. Just get started. Like we did. All right. Like we did. Until next time. Until Thank next you. time. <laughs>